Hey there friends, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here and welcome to another cleaning motivation video. Today I am not necessarily going to be doing a whole weekly house clean. I will be cleaning the whole house today, but I'm only going to be filming certain segments. I decided that I really wanted to do a bit more of a deep clean on just a few areas of the house. So one of those is is going to be our master bedroom and we'll also tackle the ensuite bathroom as well and then I'll head into the media room and just finish up with a few bits in the kitchen but if I am being completely honest with you I have not been motivated to clean lately I think the biggest thing that kind of has contributed to that is the fact that I have limited amount of time during the day which is when I typically like to clean the house and I really just think that I need to rethink how I go about things, whether that is I tackle a different area each day and I actually develop like a schedule and assign those areas to particular days or whether I just continue to do the after dark clean with me like I did in my last cleaning motivation video. I'm not really sure, but having those like days where I'm trying to cram it all in, in the space of a couple of very short naps on Hunter's part, it's been a little bit stressful. Thankfully, my mum has offered to have him around at her house for a bit of a play date for a couple of hours, one day a week. So I feel like if I can manage to score a little bit of nanny and hunty time, maybe that could end up being my cleaning slash productivity day which would be fantastic because not only would I be able to get the house clean but I would also be able to film it for content for you guys and if I have any leftover time I could film a few other bits and pieces for other videos as well so we will look into that as an option in the near future and if not perhaps a evening cleaning ritual may need to be on the car but either way something that works a little bit better in my schedule is definitely on the agenda and even though I have been doing my clean every single week I feel like because of that lack of time and that lack of motivation I really haven't been able to get in there and give it as good a job as I normally would it's been a very quick sort of surface clean so I'm really trying to prioritize giving our bedroom a bit more of a deep clean today you saw me just pull out the bedside tables and give them a dust behind there and also wipe down the inside of our windows. I have also removed the bassinet from the bedroom. Our lovely little hunter boy has turned into a big boy now and has migrated to his cot for evening sleeps which is both very exciting and also a little bit sad as well my baby is growing up so I'm passing the bassinet on to a friend who is pregnant and I'm also going to remove the fan from the room because we are moving into those chilly months and it is really not necessary so in the midst of doing that little winter swap over I've also bought out my winter pajamas from that white cane basket and put all of my summer ones in that because I certainly won't need those for a while
the bathroom, I'm gonna be doing all the usual things such as wiping down the vanity, cleaning out the toilet, and also cleaning the shower. But I'm also gonna be doing a few sort of more deep clean things. So I will be swapping out Dave's toothbrush for a fresh one, putting in a fresh soap, and then also a fresh bin bag. But before I put in the new bag, I saw this little cleaning hack on TikTok, which is to put some nice smelling essential oils on a few cotton balls and put those in the bottom of the bin underneath the bag and that will help the bin smell nice and fresh. So I have tried that out in our bathroom bin. I haven't yet done that in the bin in the kitchen, but I definitely need to do that because that's the one that has like all the food scraps and Hunter's nappies in it. So it definitely has a tendency to get a little bit more odorous and a little bit of a nice essential oil scent would be lovely. And the last or more deep cleaning thing that I'm going to do while I'm in here is once again, take the grate out of the shower and give that a good spray and scrub, which I'm trying to be more mindful of doing more frequently. started following this guy. I think his name is Tony Notox on TikTok and he goes into Woolworths and other supermarkets and looks at like their cleaning products and different beauty and household products and looks at the ingredients in them and talks about how toxic or not toxic they are and suggests the best one out of all of those. And I know for sure that shower power is not going to be on the good list. I really want to set it as a bit more of a challenge to myself to get back into less toxic cleaning products. I do have a few that I use regularly, but I also have a couple of more heavy duty ones that I know are not good for my health and I really need to ditch those and bring back the more natural alternatives, even if that means putting in a little bit more elbow grease each week as I'm getting in there to clean the house. I feel like since becoming a parent, I really need to be a bit more mindful, not only of my own health, but what I'm exposing Hunter to as well. And I know that I really need to ditch the candles as well because they're definitely gonna be on that toxic hit list. Um, I do have a couple still in back stock and I don't wanna go just get ridding. <laughs> getting rid of them. But um, once they run out, I really need to stop the purchasing of candles. Even though they are beautiful, they're definitely not good for my health.
If you watched my previous Clean With Me video, you would have seen that my laundry was an absolute schmozzle and it hasn't gotten back to that bad of a state, but it's also not fantastic at this point because as I said in my voiceover in that video, while I was sort of in the midst of filming it, my dryer blew up. So I did go and purchase a new one. Um, however, I needed to wait a couple of days for that to be delivered. We also had tons of rain and even though I was washing some clothes and hanging them on our little inside clothesline and random chairs around the house, the unfavorable weather meant that it was taking significantly longer for anything to dry. So I had quite a backlog of clothes and particularly towels and bedding that needed to be done. So we are in desperate need of some hardcore laundry motivation right now. And speaking of my new dryer, here is the beautiful beast. She did set me back a pretty penny. It was $600, which I think was a little bit pricey for a dryer, but I managed to pick up one that was a little bit larger in size. I didn't get one of the vented ones um, that recycle the air because they're like double the price. I know that they are a little bit more environmentally friendly or friendly on the electricity bill, but I just didn't quite have, you know, $1,200 sort of sitting around that I would like to spend on a dryer at this point. So I just tried to find the next best thing that was of a decent price range. I'm sort of alternating between chucking some things in the dryer and then putting on loads of washing in the machine and getting the laundry all tidied. I'll also empty our little stick vacuum cleaner, which I pretty much use sort of on a daily basis to go around our main traffic areas. And I am super surprised by how quickly that fills up. And I think that there is a furry four-legged culprit that is significantly to blame for the uh, vacuum cleaner being frequently filled. I won't mention them by name, but I think you can guess who it is. So the last two things I want to do involve some decluttering. This is my spare room currently. So I've moved the fan from our bedroom in here. I'm just going to pop that in the wardrobe and I've got sort of organized piles. So this pile here is baby stuff that I'm going to give to a friend who is pregnant. And I just sort of keep going through Hunter's things and my things and seeing what I can add to that pile. Likewise, I keep adding to this pile, which is my donate slash giveaway pile. So I'm going to see if my mum or sisters want any of these things. So the clothing or the books or etc. Um, and then anything that no one sort of friendship wise wants, um, I will donate. And then this little pile here is things that either belong to my mum, which is that ball. I'll see if she wants it back. I borrowed it when I was pregnant and then some things to give her. So at the moment I've got sort of gym things in there. So I'm going to kind of get to work on these piles and see what I can add to them and then start clearing these things out because in the next sort of a month or so, I want to properly do this room up as a spare bedroom. The second thing I'm going to do is declutter the pantry. So this shelf looks quite nice. I probably need to have a little look see at the things that I've got up there, but I've got some things in containers here that are like super old and like 
not that great so i'm going to get rid of those and i'm also just going to empty out the potatoes and onions down there and just put things in the dishwasher so that i can sort of unpack some of these um, boxed items and just have everything looking a lot more organized and here is the finished product here i love it, it looks so nice and organized then the last area that I want to do is this drawer, which is absolute chaos. It's all of Hunter's like bottles and feeding things. And it's really just outgrown this space. And I'd like to use that drawer considering we're in the pantry for some of his baby food items, which we will be sort of moving more into. So instead I'm going to take these two drink bottles out of that drawer and put them in here. And then we can use this big drawer for all of the bottles and stuff, which we have much better space. And much better. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of this week's cleaning video. If you liked this video, make sure to check out my Clean With Me playlist for a whole heap more cleaning motivation. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I upload new ones every single week. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.